Why do you buy designer bags? When I asked this question to myself, I struggle to come up with a single clear answer. Sometimes I just adore a bag's design and say to myself, this should be mine, regardless of the brand and the price point that comes with it. Really? A purse? It's not a purse, it's a shoulder bag. However, when I become honest with myself, I realize that sometimes having a designer bag in my hand makes me feel better about myself. In fact, whenever I feel down, unhappy, or unsatisfied about various things in my life, fashion usually emerges as my number one escape route. And with fashion comes designer bags. Therefore, when I saw Jessie Styles' video questioning if designer bags were for people with low self-esteem, it made me think, do I have self-esteem? Do we, the designer bag lovers, all collectively suffer from low self-esteem and finding the cure in splurging on an overly expensive handbag? Well, let's talk about it. Okay. Let's talk. Personally, I believe there are various reasons behind someone's desire to buy designer handbags. For some, designer bags serve as a status symbol, representing success, taste, and financial achievement. In that sense, owning luxury items is actually tied to our social identity and how we wish to be perceived by others. Others may buy designer bags for the sheer pleasure of owning high quality, aesthetically pleasing items, or because they appreciate the craftsmanship and the history of the brand. I feel like this is more about personal satisfaction than anything else. We simply adore the designs and that's about it. Marketing and social media also play a significant role in shaping our perceptions of luxury and are absolutely influencing our purchasing decisions. Well, since you're here, I might as well show you my new tabby bag. Look at it. It's a big hit and timeless, just like me. Well, I mean, I'll be the first one to admit here, even though I know better, I often find myself struggling with the feeling of pleasure to keep up with the designer items. If you are very much into celebrity and influencer culture, there is nothing more normal than wanting to see the items that they use in your own wardrobe. For some, the purchase of designer bags is a form of psychological reward, such as a sense of accomplishment or a way to celebrate milestones. This point is valid for me as well. I made one of my biggest luxury splurges when I got my first promotion at work, and I have no regrets about it whatsoever. It was a great joy for me, and I will cherish that specific shopping spree forever. Now, I personally believe that none of these reasons are about having low self-esteem. Of course, someone might have low self-esteem and also buy designer bags, but this does not necessarily mean that these two are linked to one another. That being said, I can also understand the argument that having low self-esteem might lead some people to splurge more than others. As I said in the beginning, I also feel like whenever I feel down, I lean toward my designer bags more. And to be honest, I don't think this is necessarily a huge problem. It feels like putting on makeup to feel better. We might all require these enhancements from time to time, and there's nothing wrong with it. That being said, I do believe that seeking validation through shopping, and specifically luxury shopping, might be a problem. Purchasing and displaying designer items can be a way to gain approval, admiration, or envy from others, providing a temporary boost to our own self-worth. But in reality, they are far from a true solution to the issue. And the more important thing is, they cost a lot and can quickly become addictive. When I was doing research for this video, I came across the theory of symbolic self-completion. This theory suggests that individuals who feel incomplete in certain aspects of their self-concept may attempt to acquire and display symbols that represent success or completeness in those areas. And guess what? Splurging on designer items can be a way for someone with low self-esteem to feel more complete or accomplished in line with the theory. It is also suggested that people with low self-esteem often engage in social comparison, measuring their worth against others. In environments where owning luxury items is equated with success or belonging, they may, understandably, feel pressured to conform to these standards. Comparison and seeing seemingly perfect people on your Instagram feed all day every day is a poison in my opinion, and this poison often causes a lot of us to do more shopping. For some of us, this situation reveals itself in the form of designer bags. Purchasing luxury items might also serve as a form of emotional compensation for people with low self-esteem. The act of buying something new, especially something as coveted as a designer item, can provide a temporary emotional lift or a distraction from negative feelings about ourselves. That is to say, designer bags might act as retail therapy for a lot of us, and unfortunately, I can see the potential danger in this situation. For some of us, the act of purchasing luxury items can give us a sense of control over our image and how we are perceived by the world. And let's admit, this control might be particularly appealing for people who feel they lack control in the other areas of their lives, possibly due to low self-esteem. 
So by buying designer handbags, some people might actually go beyond buying a bag simply and instead enhance their desired identity in society. I'm not an expert on the issue, but I feel like linking your self-worth completely to material items is not exactly the healthiest that we can choose for ourselves. Besides, it's also far from being sustainable, especially when it comes to designer items. If potentially losing my handbag collection impacts my character or my identity, I personally believe that I have to look at myself and my relationship with these handbags in general. As you can see, this topic gives me a lot to think about, but what do you think? Why do you buy designer handbags? And do you think people use designer handbags as compensation for low self-esteem? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to discover my other thoughts on luxury shopping, click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Mwah.